Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Darkest Hour. So as you can see, the screen resolution is a little more legible uh, right now. You should be able to see what's going on over here. Let's actually enable auto spying. And uh, oh, you know, before we um before we get into anything, this is the first episode that I was able to record uh, that I was able to read the comment section with, and there was a lot of good advice there was a lot of uh, suggestions to play different mods which will probably be happening in the future one of the things i like the most is that you can use uh nope not that control plus and control minus to change the game speed see that down at the bottom there uh they i was told you could use control you know space but i'm, I'm doing it right now control space doesn't do anything which is a bit unfortunate but at least i know i can change the speed of the game relatively easily now, where were we? Prolonged service? We don't, it looks like there's nothing really to, uh, we're going to want to do over here just yet. Uh, I did manually go through and add uh, some of these factories I queued up to the top of the production queue and allotted some IC to them so that we can get working on those. And let's actually... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. We're unpausing the game. There we go. And why don't we use our fancy schmancy control plus to set it on normal. And we're going to get moving from there. So, uh, I somebody told me in the comment section uh, what these are good for. Uh, I think... Oh, he's um, he's outside of his his total command. Von Frist. Fritz. So, total command 9. Maybe we promote him. The command larger task forces more successfully. If a leader commands more units than the table, he will not be able to get leadership bonuses. Promotedly reduce the skill level. Oh, and let's pause that. What, is, what was that saying? We'll lose the skill level. This is the fact that his staff is increased with uh, results in, in effectiveness. Permanently will also become more loyal. Okay. That's good to know. So, skill level is that. Is this skill level a direct. It's going to be a direct bonus to. Uh, to like a combat modifier rear supply area dumps. Okay, we're gonna go to that. So I believe was that under industrial Land doctrine maybe Hmm, where was that? Agriculture we can start working on that right if we wanted to oh we uh, required for requires Mechanized uh, me uh, mechanized agriculture 1920. That's fine. Hmm, so it's IG Farben is is who's done now. Trickle back modifier manpower growth. I think that's gonna be a good for th thing for them to work on. Uh require sulfa sulfa group antibiotics, nineteen thirty two, we got that. So we should be able to require blueprint four now. So what are we missing? Are we not? There we go. We had, had it selected. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're going to work on that. Manpower, I believe, is going to be rather important for Germany here. Hopefully, you guys can read. That was the biggest complaint I've had. I got a lot of positive feedback. Uh, the biggest complaint I have was, God damn it, it's hard to read anything. But, I mean, it should be a lot easier now. Like, if I click on a unit, you should be able to uh, read all the information about them uh, a, lot, <laughs> a lot easier than we were that we were working with before. Alright, nice. I'm glad everybody's liking this game, because I'm liking it too. It's just a nice change of pace from Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, and uh, what I was talking about before is that uh, somebody told me in, this, in the comment section that if you have the HQ division attached, uh, so let's say I had... Uh, well, we, well we, we could do that. We could, we could work with them over here. Let's see. We put the HQ division here. Let's put some some panzers right here. A new to, uh, early anti-tank artillery. Let's pause it now. Go to that. And that would have been armor and artillery. Uh, anti-tank artillery. There it is right there. All right, good. And who was working on that? That was Mon. So what else do we want to work on? Well, why don't we, we start working on better tanks? That might be a good thing. It's early, but we can start it, and, they, and Mon would be good at that. So why don't we have uh, Mon start working on better 
uh, type. So light welded armor, 20 millimeter anti-tank gun, basic light engine, basic optic sights, and basic light tank prototypes. Cool. Yeah. Uh, better tanks. I feel a little off today, so forgive me if the commentary is not flowing as well as it normally does. I don't know why. Uh, so this code, Field Marshal Von Blomberg. Let's have him over here. And let's... I was told if you right-click, you strategically redeploy. That's a heck of an army corps right there. And look how fast these guys are. Okay, so like I was saying, um, these guys, I was what I was told was that combat with is very important. Well, combat with always is always very important. Um, if you have an, an HQ, will be able to will will increase the combat width of adjoining cores. So if I, from the way I understand it, if I have a core here and a core here and a core here, and they all attack, well. They wouldn't all be able to attack the same problem, but say I've got this one here and this one and one here, and I tell them to both attack here. It would the presence of the HQ would double the amount of combat width I had available to use. I think let's actually uh, militarize the border with Poland here. Now does that that doesn't actually go over there now. Four, eight, four. Now let's send you up here. We want to keep this this border militarized pretty well. There we go. And did you get? You do have orders. Okay, good. And okay. Okay, I think we're good. Air sets convention was that the one that gave me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that just gives me, what's it called? Why don't we speed it up a little? Put it on extremely fast. And something happened. Uh, new nation. Uh, Italian East Africa has declared independence from its former oppressors in Italy. So that's right down, is this? Uh, yeah, Italian East Africa. So they apparently broke away from Italy. Now, are they're not a puppet state, right? No. Fascist. They're not a puppet state. Oh, and why don't we go to intelligence? Uh, let's see here. And how do we do this? Germany. Let's enable auto spying. Uh, edit. Uh, apply defaults to all. Remove all. Remove all countries. Okay. So I think that'll mean that my guys should be working on. Uh, kind of defensive stuff and say do I need to let's find uh, well I'm, I'm the only member of the access yes so let's go to Europe let's go to Italy how do I get them into my faction bring into Alliance money 77 uh, no, they won't do it then I was to say why they won't do it influenced into their policies and views more similar to ours now is that chance 64 that, that that's a one-time use of money I think okay okay cool so that's 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 that that worked uh, oh, I keep I keep hitting space bar to uh pause pause slash unpause it doesn't do anything all right so let's put this on Leave it on fast for now. We have units that are now operating with increased efficiency. Got our army corps are moving around. Has arrived in Munster. I'm a Wilhelm, Wilhelmhaven. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I probably am not. Is this my manpower? Yes, it's very, very low. We need 600 manpower to reinforce our forces to maximum strength, and right now we have none. We have no manpower right now, basically because uh, we're, we're demilitarized. We, we're not, you, we're, nobody's, you know, forced to serve, or there's no draft, not, nothing like that. For long terms of service, air says partial. Uh, so, should I enact the partial mobilization? Somebody told me something about this, and I can't remember if I should do it right now. It's costly right now. I don't think I, I feel like that's not something I should do right now. I feel like right now I should just work. I should just be working on 
um, getting my military situated. The attachment to the 11th Infantry Division has been upgraded. Okay, diplomatic deal with Portugal. So we upgraded a couple attachments to Infantry Divisions, so they had uh, regular artillery attach brigades attached to them. We got those upgraded. Take a look what we're working on here. So our all, all the factories and the infrastructure um, is is all fully funded. Actually, I kind of guessed on this and actually worked out pretty perfectly. All right, so these are going to be finished in July. These will be finished in August. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, wait, that's next year. Shiza. I, I was like, that's not too bad. It's just like a month away. No, that's next year. They'll be done next year. One day, two days, three days. Yeah, it's it's funny playing playing a, an older game on like a modern rig where it just runs so fast. Uh, so we completed research on our improved torpedoes. Failed to delay our production. Has failed to delay. So the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union is kind of fucking with us. They're screwing around. Let's see. Tech. And... Kriegsmarine works. Uh, we're going to want to go to naval. And we did model 35 torpedoes. So the 1943 torpedoes is way ahead of us. Uh, Anti-submarine warfare equipment. That would replace the Deutschland class. Class heavy cruisers with a P class. Uh, Mackinson class. Be replaced with the O class. Super heavy battleships. So right now, improved battleship 34 is the Bismarck class. Okay, the H class. Like we could, we could, we could work on that destroyers. But I think what's gonna be best is probably get our submarines going. Uh, we should be able to require submarine 33. Yes, we can start project on uh, building new, newer model submarines, which would probably be, if memory serves... Uh, let's see, diplomatic campaign. I don't think that's something I wanted to do. Uh, if my memory serves, that would be the Type 7. Uh, right now, Germany would probably be producing the Type 2 which was kind of like a shorter range coastal. So, I mean, it's not like they weren't effective. It was a type two that um, snuck into Scapa flow and some, what was it, the Ark Royal? Sunk an old, well, a mildly old battleship. I believe that was a type, it was early war, so it probably was a type two. Wow, yeah, you know, you put it on basically uh, the equivalent of speed five. It's just, it's so fast. Well, it is early game, nothing's happening. That's, that's you know, Paradox Games, how it is. It's failed the spear campaign against us. Uh, we can conduct, conduct war games, okay. Supplies, how, I wonder how this, how high this stockpile is up to. Max stockpile, 13,259. Okay, so it's not just 999. 99,999 or whatever it was. In um, Hearts of Iron 3. Now, the 1st Infantry Division has been upgraded to Infantry 36, the 11th, the 21st, the 61st, and the 206th Infantry Divisions have been all upgraded to Model 1936, which is wonderful. So some of these guys are at full strength, which is pretty awesome. Let's see, and this is probably... Oh, no, this guy's still working with uh, antiquated um, artillery. Are they upgrading? I don't see these guys particularly upgrading right now, but maybe some other ones? I'm trying to find the 36 guys. <laughs> maybe they're over in Poland. Oh, there's a bunch of them. The 1st, the 11th, the 21st, and the 61st right there. Uh, I don't remember. Did it, did it say the 206th was on there too? A newly upgraded one? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's doing these guys right here. So, yep, there's another group of them. That is wonderful. Because once we get these upgrades kind of situated a little better, then we can definitely focus on production a little more. Need two. So, there we go. 
Reinforcements. We don't need to work on that right now because we don't have any manpower, so it's not a big deal. Alrighty. I am liking this game. Finland went with keep our current government. It's just, I, you know, I haven't been doing much other than, you know, like working with technology and getting the hang of the uni user interface and things like that, but I'm still, I'm enjoying it a lot. I really am. Uh, uh, Mauserwerk. Well, with uh, in German, the E would be pronounced, so, Verke. So, Mauser, they would probably be good at, <laughs> yeah, but that that's 39. I don't know if I want to immediately do that. Uh, Marines, airborne infantry, repair modifier, cavalry. Hmm. I don't know if we want to work on that stuff right now. AA brigades. I was told to be very particular about projects I pick. Like if I'm not going to, if I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, don't bother researching it. That kind of thing. Combined arms. Who would be who would be good at doing combined arms? Because that's definitely something we want. Replace. Oh, here we go. Ernst Udet. Oh, Heinz Guderian. Oh, we're gonna Guderian the shit out of combined arms. We're gonna we're gonna Guderian all over the place. Yeah, did you see that it was all lit up straight across the board there. Nice, 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 nice. Woo, yay, finishing up. So, Poland failed to steal one of our blueprints. That's just wonderful. So, economy, yeah, look at that going down now. I mean, there's still a lot to do. But it's, it's, they're popping off pretty quick now, which I'm pretty stoked about. And that'll allow us to actually start working on some of this other stuff right now. Because this run of, like, this run of factories isn't going to be done until... Um, middle, you know, a year out. And I think I put a rocket test site on there somewhere. Rocket test site in Strassland. We don't have very many brigade attachments. Uh, what I would most... Super Heavy Hardy, I love Super... I just love the picture there. Fucking massive gun. Curve first. Can attach light tanks. Police, cavalry, armored cars. Like, the, the thing I'm most likely to do... Early decryption devices, pause. Uh, the thing I'm most likely to do is is artillery for just a regular... Uh, Turkey has non-aggression pact with Germany. Germany has non-aggression pact with Soviet Union. Poland, Austria. Germany is leader of the Axis. Oh, I think that was stuff that happened right off the bat. Okay. Um, what I'm wondering about right now, because before, well, okay, let's do tech before we, we wonder out loud about anything else. So, who finished? Rhine Metal. They finished up. Heavy tank. Activate type, heavy tank. A new model is the 10 uh, Dicker Max. Heavy tanks is a Dickermax? That sounds peculiar. Dickermax is a self-propelled gun. That would upgrade our already field, already support. We could have someone start working on... Oh, that might be fun. Historical year 39. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's bring some... Let's get rocket engines. Messerschmitt. Uh, Zeppelin works. Werner Heisenberg or Von Braun? Von Braun. Von Braun's gonna get it. He's gonna start working on rocket engines a little bit early for funsies. Because who doesn't love rocket engines? I hope it's 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 easier and more everything's more legible now. Um, I, I I spent a little bit of time trying different screen resolutions to see which one looked the best. And I this is twelve hundred by seven sixty eight, I believe. Which I don't think is purely 16 by 9, but it came out looking real good. Alright. Yeah, look at all this stuff on here. What? I can't wait for it to... I can't wait to actually get, you know, get to it. But we're kind of waiting on upgrades. 
because there is just oodles and oodles of, of guys to upgrade. These guys over in East Prussia, fully upgraded. Then we get this too. Yeah, we did. Is that a Soviet? Is that a Soviet militia troop in uh, corps in the Free City of Danzig? It. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. That's. I thought that was a Soviet flag for a second. That's not. These guys are upgrading. Looks like a lot of these. Is it just working from that way to this way? <laughs> All right. So we do. This is this is our Panzer Corps. Basic decimetric radar warning sites. Okay. Pause that. Uh, technology. So it looks like AEG was working on that. Why don't we go to industrial and see if we can find something else for them to work on? Surface radar. Activate unit RA. What's RA? RA new model early surface radar. Huh, wonder what that is. Desert equipment. Tropical equipment. Winter equipment, definitely. But, I mean, AEG would be better at something like this. Or, eh, assembly line, experimentation, basic comp Oh, yeah, research modifier. Let's get them working on that. Let's get them working on that. All right. I keep hitting escape on my keyboard like it's going to close out the uh, the screen. And it's going to... Uh, has failed the campaign to smear against our government. Okay. Well, I, I keep hitting escape like it's going to you know clear the screens out and bring me back to the map here. But that's not how that works anymore. Not in this game, at least. It's... it's, it's uh, uh, I'm feeling... I, I'm... I'm just are now recruitment campaign. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Pause that. I'm feeling the UI a little clunky, but it's such an old game. Recruitment campaign. Let's see. What do we got to do here? Uh, below 15 available manpower and or or Germany has IC or Germany IC is less than 20 and Germany's IC is less than 15 and at least 1,000 money G is less. So b Germany's IC. Why would my IC be that low? Is it, oh, at least, not less than, at least. Uh, mo oh, okay, so money is what we don't have right now. So that's what we're low on. So we can't do that yet because we're, we're poor. Daily change of 7.8, that's pretty good. So we could save up our money pretty easily, right? And do a Spanish war intervention, we can't do that yet. At least 10 manpower available, and we don't have any manpower. Best national research. Yeah, these are popping off now. Right, alphabetical order by historical date. There we go. Let's let's do that. So do we want do we want to do this? This might be a good idea at this point. Why don't we enable two year conscription? Okay. So there we go. Uh, let's pause this now. Okay, Spanish War intervention. In early 1936, after the electoral victory of the socialists, popular demand for uh, society equality evolved a virtual revolution against the clergy, landowners, and uh, monarchists. Mobs attacked churches try and tried to collectivize farms. Unions started strikes in. Anarchists assassinated enemies of the people. The newly installed government was able, unable to restore order. The Spanish army joined the conservatives and Catholics and put down the social revolution. Thus settled, uh, and thus they styled themselves the nationalists. The government, facing an armed rebellion, uh, styled themselves Republicans, decided to fight, joining with the forces of the revolution. The Spanish Civil War has begun. Send materials and volunteers. Send volunteers and, and control their army. Cancel. So. Let's see. Relations go up. So this stock, so basically I send more stuff. Oh, and we get to control the army down there. Why don't we try that? Oh, we have full control? Oh. Uh, but I can't see what's going on. There we go. All right, let's, um, let's put this on very slow. So I'm the black guys, the little black ones. 
and I'm fighting the Republicans here. So, it looks like most of these cores are pretty small, but the majority of our forces are in the north section here. Okay, what do we have in terms... We have some... We have... Alright, so... We've got some transports. An old, old, old destroyer. And a slightly newer destroyer. A submarine. And a new, so why don't we take the submarine... And can we get it over here? Like here? And we do have, uh, ooh, tactical bombers. The, oh, it's, it's the, the Condor Legion. So these are the Germans. So we have some tactical bombers. All right, so why don't we set them to, let's see, ground attack. Give them the close air support, or technically they will attack enemy ground troops in the target area, reducing their strength. They will attack enemy units in the area and strike their communication, thus reducing their organization. To reduce supplies, runaway catering. Okay, why don't we do organization? So it's gonna that, that's the area we're looking at right now. Stop his strengths below. Day. Night pulse. Let's do just day. Um, let's see. The region is pretty huge. Let's go. Let's go area. And there we go. Set those guys to go out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start heading over this way, I think. Let's see. I mean, they they shouldn't be in a super strong position. So why don't we try this out? And then we have one you right here. Let's support attack. And let's, let's unpause this and see what happens. All right, so uh, started uh, started bombing. Okay, so here it looks like we're doing pretty well. Attackers have made sixty three point six sixty three. Start bombing. So yeah, there we're making progress here. Um, sixty eight people on our side, ninety six people have died, and a bunch of horses. Uh, we have support attack from right here. Uh, these guys are also doing very well. They don't have a leader. Oh, no, no. You guys cancel that. Air, air raid report. Okay, so does it give me a report every time they do an air raid like this? So combat losses. So they killed 315 men and lost one. And, and we lost. Wait, 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 wait. Defender attack. Okay, okay. So this is how many men they lost because they're the defender. And we lost one man. Okay, good to know. So, let's see, what do we got here? Militia, you go to yeah, you go back to Madrid to defend it. All right, and we do need to actually fill up some of these gaps here, so they don't. Actually, why don't we do this? Try to cut them off a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. My first taste of combat. It's a little... I'm, I'm just trying to take things as slow as I possibly can. Uh, but we are out of time for this episode, so we're going to leave it right here. If you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of... Not Hearts of Iron. Darkest Hour, a Hearts of Iron game. There we go. Just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys next time.